Hey content creators, Nina here. And today we are gonna create this little cute GIF, GIF, video, whatever. We're gonna create this and I'm gonna teach you a couple little tricks that you can use with Canva. Now, this is part two of a two part video on how to remove the background, how to edit your photos and how to then create GIF, GIF video thingamabobbers. So anyways, let's get going. Okay, let's have some fun. So after you save the file or the photo, just so you can use it in the future, what I would do is let's start creating your graphic. So for the background image, let's actually make sure this is detached. Um, I was actually having some problems when I was doing this because I'm like, why does it keep on changing the color? If you have a problem where you're trying to select the background and it just goes over the image, I'm gonna undo, right? That means it's probably attached to the background right click and detach from the background so then it's its own image right okay now if i go to the background i could select a color and i'm gonna go ahead and select one of my brand colors and then i'm gonna put it back into place okay so one of the things that you might want to do now that you have the background color is just adjust the color of your image because maybe it doesn't look um, right, maybe it's a little like washed out against the background. So again, you might wanna change it just a little bit, see if it's like the right color for you, or if it's too much saturation, maybe a little bit of contrast, a little brightness. We're gonna leave it right there. All right, so I'm gonna put this in the corner because I'm gonna do something kind of cool. Put a little bit down here, and actually let's crop this so we don't have all this extra space to work with. There we go. I'm just getting rid of all that extra space. So as I add other elements, it's easier to select it. All right, click on done. There you go. So see how I don't have that big box overlapping. That's gonna come in handy when you add more elements. So I'm gonna put this in the corner. Let's actually create something for Instagram. So I am going to look for my favorite elements. Not my favorite, one of my favorite blogs. Now, um, a couple things that you can do, let me just move this back up, is if you have something that's cut off here, you can do something like this and put it underneath so it kind of um, covers it. It looks like it's floating. What I love is that Canva has this magic recommendations. So all of these obviously match. You would just kind of put them over here. You have your little drawing and you can, um, there we go, you add them there. And basically what you would do is just select your brand colors. So they match, right? And put those there. Now that's not what I'm trying to do. I just want to show you that just in case. So we're gonna go back to where it was in the corner. I'm just using Control Z to go backwards. What I want is an animated blob because these are really cool. And so I'm gonna use, let's see, let's use this one. I'm gonna put it up here in the corner. Actually, let's flip it. Flip it this way, yep. And I'm gonna use this little arrow, um, the little circle arrow, that's officially what it's called, just kidding, to change the angle. Move it over in the corner a little bit. Resize it, okay? And then I'm going to take, let's do we want to do color or black? Let's do black. This one. Let's send this behind my head. I'm just right clicking. When in doubt, click on right click um, to see what you want. So backward means it's going to go back one level. Send to back means it's going to go behind the white blob. Control Z because that's not what I wanted. I just want to do send to back. So, oops, excuse me. Send backwards. So then that means it's gonna go, and actually it's doing something weird, because I am. So let's go ahead and send two back. We want that behind, there we go. And then let's bring this all the way to the front. I don't know what it's doing, it's some weird stuff. Okay, there we go. So I have some different elements here. And what I wanna do is add some text. So I'm gonna keep the text very, very plain because it's so much going on in this image. So let's type in Canva hidden features because that's one of the videos I have coming up. 
I'm gonna be showing you some, just kind of some items that you may not have known. And let's make sure that I can actually see it if we do this. So let's move this over to the side here. And I'm gonna make sure we can see it. There we go, because we wanna see it. We just want it to cover it. Okay. Now what we want to do is now that we have this first slide, I'm going to call it a slide that we have together in this first image, I am going to change the animation timing. The reason why is we're going to put a bunch of these together and make my head kind of move to make it animated and we don't want it to take too long. We'll do seven, okay? So 0.7 seconds and I'm just going to do a couple of copies of this, okay? Copy. And so what I'm gonna do is do this, and I'm gonna move my head this way. Then I'm gonna move it the next way. So let's scroll down a little bit. All right, so we're just gonna make my head kind of go back and forth and back and forth, but I'm also gonna do some little design elements to make it look kind of fun, okay? So this is the last one, okay. And so then I'm gonna go back, let's go back to like the second slide and I'm gonna use some of these fun effects. So we went into the effects before and chose move background, but there's also these kind of weird things that you can do um, like this one. So let's just go to this one and we're gonna go to split. Yep. And then this one, we're gonna do every other one. Let's see if this is cool. Hopefully it turns out pretty cool. And okay, so we're just doing a couple of things to make it a little bit fun. And then I'll show you how you can play this like it's a little video. Okay, and then that's it. Okay, so let's play it. Notice it's only 4.9 seconds. Before it started at eight seconds, so if we duplicated all of these, it would have taken a long time. So I'm gonna click on play. Okay, so you can do this without adding the additional effects. I just did that to have some fun, but see, kind of cool. And if you know that you want to use this in like stories, you could make it 15 seconds. So you can go in here and change each slide, right? And it's actually easier if you go down to where it says seven, if I remember. So these are all the slides. You can duplicate these. So I can do, I could click this button at the bottom to duplicate. What I love about these slides, and I'm probably going into my other training, but so I'll end this pretty soon. But what I love about this is you can like quickly duplicate things and slide them around to make this longer, right? Oops, did it work? There we go. All right, you guys. So I don't wanna spend too much time on this because I do have a video coming out about tips and tricks on using um, Canva and editing Canva for stories and all these other things. If you guys have particular questions, you can ask me about it. But for now, let's go ahead and close this view. Let's play it one more time and then we are going to download it. See, that looks much better because it's a lot more. There you go. Okay, good. So I will download it. You do want to download it as an MP4 video, okay? For those of you that are on Etsy, notice it has SVG. Only Etsy, you know, designers will know that. Okay, so I'm gonna download it now. And that's basically it. So if you like that video, you wanna see more tips and tricks on Canva, please subscribe, like, and comment and let me know what you wanna know. But I am continuing my Canva master class here on YouTube. Ciao for now.